Now, before I move on to a little more of the trickiness of deployment, I did want to show you a handful of sort of interesting things about this application. For example, if I take the app.xaml.cs that's inside the zip file that we exported and open it up in Visual Studio, you can see these parameter names that were put in. And what it actually does when you choose the file export as template method, it goes through your code looking for strings. And when it sees a string that matches, say, the project name, it puts in this parameter for project name. And this is done not just in the C sharp code, but also let me just get a notepad so that we can look at some raw example XAML. So the main window.xaml has got the safe project name in it, and the app.xaml also has our safe project name.app. So these substitutions are done automatically. There's no need to go in and edit these. If you're curious, you can take a look at them. But by and large, you can trust the code that does the export to put those parameter substitutions in for you so that when you create and build, you get the proper class names and so forth that you need within them. Now, it was great that I was able to make a new project from this. But I deliberately went kind of quickly so that you wouldn't notice a flaw. Now I'm going to slow down and let you see the flaw. Let's go make another new project. Here under C Sharp, we definitely see shiny with two eyes, red WPF app. But we have this subcategory here called Windows. You see we have WPF applications under Windows. And shiny red WPF app is not under Windows. So this is kind of a bummer. People might not find it there under Visual C Sharp because they would expect to find it underneath Windows. So we need to understand, if we're going to copy things to magic folders, we need to understand the magicness of the folders a little bit. Let me cancel out of, well, let me keep this up so that I can show you a comparison of something. I'm going to bring up a folder, and I happen to know what it's called. Okay, it's under Program Files, x86, Visual Studio 10, Common 7, IDE, Project Templates, C Sharp. And if you take a look in this folder, you'll see that there are 10 items in the folder. And if you take a look under the Visual C Sharp node here, you'll see that there are 10 items. And they are, in fact, the same items. These guys are in alphabetical order. These guys are in some slightly different order. But they're the same 10 items. And in fact, that's how the tree view works. So if I go back to my my documents, Visual Studio 2010, templates, so forth and so on, and I make a folder in here called Windows. And then I move my zip file into it. I go back, cancel this, and again go New Project. There's shiny red WPF app under Windows. The problem is, now it's not under just plain C Sharp anymore. That's kind of unfortunate. And in order to get around that, you have to know how to do a slightly strange thing. You have to come into the template, and here in the template data section, you have to add the very long named number of parent categories to roll up tag. And if I just put a 1 in there, I'm counting on this zip being under Windows, but I also want it to show under C Sharp. So I'm going to save that. Delete that zip because we want to refresh it. and then put it back into the Windows folder. Now when we come in here to make a new project, we look under Windows. It's here. We go up one from Windows, and it's also here. 
Now, if I had some subfolder under Windows and then I moved it down to there, it would show in the subfolder and in Windows, but not in Visual C Sharp and so on. You sort of have to know where people are going to put it in order for the number of parent categories to roll up to work. But it is a mechanism that is there and is available. I wouldn't call this intuitive or obvious, and it's pretty fragile. If I email someone this zip file, I have to tell them where to put it. They have to put it in the right place, and I have to know they're going to put it in the right place in order to be able to correctly put the right value into this number of parent categories to roll up value. So it works, but it's not great. We'll be coming back in another demo to show you a much more robust way to deploy this project template.